Hi, this is in continuation to the previous video lecture where we were looking at the cross tidal oil condensation. So I said that we were here where we, we were discussing reaction between ethanol and propanol, which is a cross tidal oil condensation since this is a reaction between two different aldehydes. So one first product you will get from two molecules of ethanol, the other you will get from two molecules of propanol. Then third product would be from ethanol and propanol. Here alpha hydrogen from propanol will attack carbonyl oxygen of ethanol. Right? We will look into this reaction. Then the fourth product would be when alpha hydrogen from ethanol will attack carbonyl oxygen of propanol to give you a dol 4. So you get these four products right? which are difficult to separate. These are difficult to separate. Right? So that is why this reaction is not of much value from synthetic point of view. That is this reaction when we say synthetic point of view it means that you cannot use this reaction to make compounds. Right? So this is not of much synthetic value. And I repeat why it is not of much synthetic value because you get different products right and if you want to separate say aldol 2 from this four products it, it would be difficult to separate aldol one of the any one of the product from this mixture that is why it is not of much synthetic value. Now how to make this reaction right a better reaction from synthetic point of view that is from the point of view of making products right what you will do is since in this reaction we have taken two aldehydes right that have alpha hydrogens both have alpha hydrogens right but if you will take one of the aldehydes that does not contain alpha hydrogen for example if you take in place of propanol if we take formaldehyde or benzophenone or benzaldehyde these does not contain your alpha hydrogens Right? So in that case you won't get mixture of products but you will get a single product. Right? So that in that case you don't have to do any kind of separation. Right? So that will make this reaction a useful reaction. Now let's quickly look at the reaction. Right? Because you will understand once we will do the reaction. Just remember what we have understood here. Right? So that you may not face any difficulty in understanding the reaction. Right, so in the reaction we will take two different aldehydes right, and then all those aldehydes will undergo condensation reaction between one another and between self. Right? And then we will look into the reaction of aldehyde that does not contain alpha hydrogen and aldehyde that contains alpha hydrogen. How that makes it a better reaction. Right, so we will consider reaction between ethanol and propanol. Right, so in case you haven't uh, gone through the previous lecture where we started aldol condensation, please go through that lecture before you look at this reaction. Right, so let's look into the reaction between propanol CH3 CH2 CHO plus CH3 CH. This is your propanol, this is your ethanol. Right? Now, this is your alpha hydrogen, this is your ethanol and this is your propanol. Now this alpha hydrogen will attack this oxygen right to form right this is one product right this is your beta hydroxy aldehyde this is one product 
Now, in this reaction, the alpha, the alpha hydrogen is from ethanol, right? Now, let's look at the other reaction where alpha hydrogen will come from propanol. You get other product, other aldol, a different aldol. CH3, CH2, right here. CH3, so if you just look at this reaction, which is your alpha hydrogen in this molecule of propanol, this is your propanol and this is your ethanol, right here this is the alpha hydrogen, because this is your carbonyl carbon, this is your alpha carbon, next carbon and hydrogens connected to this alpha carbon are your alpha hydrogens. Right, so in this case, it will go here, right, to form product. Right, so I hope uh, this is clear to you. Right, so the aldol that will get formed here would be, now this alpha hydrogen from propanol will go to this oxygen. Right, and all this reaction is taking place between dilute alkali in the presence of dilute sodium hydroxide OH right this is your beta hydroxy aldehyde right a different aldol now these two will react Two molecules of ethanol will also react, two molecules of propanol will also react to give you two different aldehydes. Right? So just concentrate how you get mixture of mixture of products, mixture of aldols. Right? So the other would be CH3. Right, this alpha hydrogen will go to the other molecule of ethanol right in presence of dilute sodium hydroxide it will form CH3 right this is your beta hydroxy aldehyde another type different type now two molecules of propanol will also react Right, these are two molecules of propanol. This is your alpha hydrogen which will go to this oxygen to form this product. It is, it is easy to understand this, right? We are just, we are simply, we are, what we are doing is we are doing aldol condensation reactions, right? The only problem with this type of aldol condensation is when we use two different aldehydes when both have alpha hydrogen is that we get mixture of all these products right and suppose if you want to separate this if you want this product then it would be difficult to separate from this mixture right that is why this type of reaction this type of crossed aldol condensation reaction this type of crossed aldol reaction right between aldehydes or ketones right containing both containing containing alpha hydrogens is of less value is of less synthetic value right now we'll talk how to make this reaction a better reaction from your synthetic point of view. Synthetic value means synthetic point of view means from the point of view of making products. If you want to make any product using crossed aldol condensation, so if you use both 
aldehydes that contains alpha hydrogens right then you get a mixture of products now to make it a better reaction what we do is in place of taking both aldehydes containing alpha hydrogens we take one aldehyde that does not contain alpha hydrogen and the other aldehyde should contain alpha hydrogen in that case you won't get this type of mixture of products right you get a single product so let me just uh, show you that type of reaction let's do a reaction between benzyl dehyde and acetal dehyde right and one more thing if you if you remember you can if you heat all these all these products right will give you will give you unsaturated aldehydes right if you treat it with dilute acids right all these will lose a water molecule to give you unsaturated aldehydes right just remember that and those are more stable products why because of because of conjugation let's just do this the same applies to all right in presence of dilute hcl it will lose a water molecule undergo dehydration to form this product this is your unsaturated aldehyde right i hope this is clear right and we have started this in the previous lecture also that when these two molecules of acetaldehyde will undergo dehydration suppose this will undergo dehydration in presence of dilute hcl right it will lose a water molecule to form this product ch3ch double bond ch and c h right this is your unsaturated aldehyde now let's see how we can make this reaction a better reaction by reacting your benzyl dehyde right with acetal dehyde right this reaction will take place in presence of dilute sodium hydroxide this is your alpha hydrogen acetal dehyde contains alpha hydrogens whereas this benzyl dehyde does not contain alpha hydrogen remember that right so this will go to this right this is your beta hydroxy aldehyde right now here since it has this in this you have only one alpha hydrogen so there is no point that I'll, this, now this will react with this where alpha hydrogen of benzyl dehyde will go to this oxygen because this does not contain alpha hydrogens right neither will this these two two molecules of benzyl dehyde will undergo condensation like here it was happening in case of ethanol and propanol right so you won't get a mixture of products right and this will undergo dehydration in presence of dilute hcl to form this product right this is your unsaturated aldehyde right then we call it as cinnamaldehyde if you remember 3 phenyl prop 2r three phenyl prop two two right one two three so this is the reaction this is how we make aldol condensation better from synthetic point of view because this is also cross aldol condensation there are two different aldehydes are reacting but the difference is that one of the aldehyde benzyl dehyde does not contain alpha hydrogen so it won't give you a mixture of products so this is how this reaction will take place right i hope this is clear now let's take one more example of reaction between benzyl dehyde and acetophenone right benzyl dehyde and acetophenone your acetophenone contains alpha hydrogen whereas benzyl dehyde does not contain alpha hydrogens right 
right? And if we take this is benzyl dehyde and acetophenone is right. Your you can see this uh, this contains an alpha hydrogen, right? You have CH3 group in acetophenone, right? So this contains your alpha hydrogen. Right. So here acetophenone contains alpha hydrogen and benzaldehyde does not contain alpha hydrogens. Right? This, so you need to understand this. This is benzaldehyde, it does not contain alpha hydrogen. This is your benzophenone CH3COC6H5. C6H5 is your benzene ring. In presence of dilute sodium hydroxide, right? This alpha hydrogen will go to this. Right, and it will form OH H this. Right now, this will undergo dehydration in presence of dilute HCl. Now, you also need to remember one more thing right one molecule of water would be eliminated since this is a dehydration reaction to form this unsaturated ketone right and this unsaturated ketone is more stable than this aldol beta hydroxy aldehyde ketone why because this is conjugated you can see you can see this Double, single, double, single, double, single. So this is a conjugated molecule that contains a system of double and single bonds, right? That makes it more stable, right? That gives it stability, right? So here, just remember one thing. When you have a ketone, right? The alpha hydrogen will always come from a ketone, right? And moreover, benzaldehyde does not contain a ketone. Uh, sorry, alpha hydrogen. Sorry, right. So this is how you make it a better reaction. Since when you take aldehyde that does not contain alpha hydrogen and react it with the aldehyde that contains alpha hydrogen, you won't get a mixture of products like this. But you get single product, right? So this is of more synthetic value. This is of less synthetic value, right? Just understand this. And I hope all this is clear, right? This is your crossed aldol condensation. In the previous lecture, we have done aldol condensation. So if you haven't watched that video, just watch that video before you go through this video. Right? I hope this is clear. Thanks.